that what residents say are bubbles in Lake Muir and Iberia Parish. The Departments of Natural Resources and Environmental Quality both took samples from the lake today to find out what might be causing those bubbles. Last night, public officials, residents, and other groups spoke out against AGL Resources, which wants to expand natural gas storage below salt caverns under the lake. Residents fear it could be another disaster waiting to happen, like the current sinkhole out in Assumption Parish. Residents near Lake Manure are already on edge since a 1980 accident involving an oil drilling rig. A miscalculation sent the rigs drilled directly into the salt mine instead of under the lake. And the whirlpool that was created swamped several acres of land and was so strong it even swallowed barges from a nearby canal. But fast forward to today, this is AGL's second attempt to get permits. And KTC's Allison Bourne-Venex spoke to concerned residents who want AGL's permit denied. Despite the rain, the investigation into bubbles on Lake Pinor went on on Wednesday. We have unknown bubbling. It's definite. There's, there's no two ways about it. Mara Crawley is president of Save Lake Pinor. She's worried bubbles indicate big problems, and she's against a proposed expansion of an underground natural gas storage facility. They should deny this permit. We should have the environmental impact statement we've always asked for, because that's all we've ever asked for and stop this project. If we get a big sinkhole, what's going to happen? You know, we don't know. The, the previous accident in 1980 took in 115 acres of land. What's this one going to do? DNR says that its investigation into the bubbles is not related to AGL's permit process, but what they find out could have an effect. We want to get to the bottom of it too to discover whether this is something that, you know, requires some action or is something that is, you know, might end up being harmless, might end up being something that needs to be uh, acted upon. In New Iberia, I'm Allison Born vanak for KTC TV3. AGL maintains the company is committed to safely expanding the project, which has already been operating for more than 15 years. The company will find out in the next 15 days if Coastal Management approves its permit for dredging.